so as a part of your quality system you complete the qualification of the instrument or equipment design the sop for the same both for operation and the calibration and once the sop gets effective you conduct the calibration of the instrument now the question is once you conduct the very first calibration you have to prepare the master calibration plan for the given instrument and for that you need to understand what should be my calibration date or against which date i must define my first calibration due date hi bhaskar napte from pharma growth hub and today i am trying to explain you how this situation can be handled very well so the first calibration is conducted after successful qualification as i explained earlier now most of the times for complex calibration processes you may required more than one day to complete the calibration activity for example an hplc calibration it cannot be just completed within a day now let us take a below example or the case study calibration start date is 1st march 2022 calibration end date is 4th march 2022 it took 4 days for the calibration completion and finally the calibration report got approved on 6th march of 2022 now the question here is now this is your very first calibration after approval of sop now what should be your next calibration date assuming calibration frequency of 6 month now you can have the below options and what are they the first one can be 6 month from calibration start date and which will be 1st of september 2022 the second option could be 6 month from the calibration end date which will be 4th september 2022 and the last option is 6 month from calibration approval date that is 6th of september 2022 i have just calculated 6 month from the respective dates start date end date and the approved date now the question here is which one should be your next calibration due date let us talk about the calibration approved date as a reference date that you have approved your calibration data i do think that this could be a good starting point that everything is perfectly executed the data is reviewed by the quality assurance and let us set this as my zero time and this is going to become my reference date to calculate my next calibration due date maybe of 6 month as an example let us first again review the complete dates the first used date is what is your start date of the calibration i'm talking about the effectiveness of your sop i am not talking about the qualification because the qualification is before the implementation of your sop or the calibration uh, methodologies so your first use is actually your start date of calibration on this date you have used instrument for very first time and that happened to be 1st of march 2022 in this example the calibration end date is what the 4th march 2022 and the approval date is what 6th march 2022 i have just taken the old data once again and then based on to the approval date as a reference date the calibration due date should be 6th of september 2022 
सिक्स मंथ इज माय कैलिब्रेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट हैपेंस इन केस इफ आई इंप्लीमेंट दिस अप्रोच द रिस्क ऑफ यूजिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर मोर देन सिक्स मंथ फ्रॉम इट्स फर्स्ट यूज इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल फॉर इन दिस केस If I calibrate the instrument on sixth of September, twenty twenty-two, I'm actually allowing five more days in addition to six month of the calibration window. I'm allowing the usage of instrument by six month plus five more days, and hence this is not a conservative approach in its nature. let us talk about the second approach end date the calibration end date as a reference date let us relook the entire dates once again the start date of the calibration that means when the instrument was used for very first time is 1st of march 2022 calibration end date is 4th march 2022 approved date for the calibration data is 6th march 2022 now against the end date if i put the 6 month it becomes the calibration due date as 4th of september 2022 now what happens next there is still a risk of using instrument for more than 6 month from its first use and just in this example you will find that three more days usage is possible so this is again not a conservative approach in its nature let us talk about the third approach of considering calibration start date as a reference date let us have a data one more time the first use date or the start date of the calibration is 1st march 2022 calibration end date is 4th march 2022 calibration approval date is 6th march 2022 and hence if i have to calculate now the 6th month from the start date as my reference date it becomes 1st september 2022 so there is no risk of using instrument for more than 6 month from its first use and it is the more conservative in its nature i am not allowing the usage of instrument by more than 6 month from its first use and hence i will say that my first calibration due date is going to be a 1st september 2022 and again this 1st september i am going to consider another 6 month then another 6 month but understanding the first calibration due date is very important i mean this is my approach based on to the conservative and nature of the method and there can be different school of thoughts but let me also know you uh, i mean let me also know what is your thought on this particular assumptions do you follow this approach that i explained or do you follow any another approach please do let me know in the chat box thank you so much for watching this video and i will meet you soon with such kind of very informative and useful content bye bye